Hi, I'm Lindsay and welcome to my shop. Well, at least for today. Now, March 20th through March 26th, it's a Get Woodworking Week where you want to try something new in the shop or if you're like me, someone who isn't normally a woodworker, it's your time to get out in the shop and learn something new. I've been wanting to learn how to do spoon carving for quite some time. I follow a bunch of people on Instagram that make these really neat wooden spoons and I, I just want to make one for myself. So Matt convinced me that I should be able to do one in a couple of, make one in a couple of hours. So we'll see if he's correct and if I make a spoon that is Instagram worthy. So let's do it. What do you say at the end? I forget what you say. Let's get started. Oh yeah. So let's get started. <laughs> Throw sawdust in the air. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your piece of wood and then do an outline of what you're eventually going to carve out. So what I want is a really big fat soup. What is it called? What is this? The bowl. I want a really big f circular bowl with a really skinny handle. So if you're not a born artist like me, use something as a template to outline. <laughs> so I want it to be like a long sucker and thinner than that and probably, you know, center. Yeah. Something like that. Sawdust. <laughs> okay, next. We're gonna come in both directions because you can start working down into in the grain direction here. So you have to come from this side and you have to come from this side. You can see as you come down, you're gonna start going against the grain. And you're always trying to just kind of make it nice and even all the way up to this line, to your first line there. Marcel, right, so, so you're doing this. More pressure. Yeah, you can do either. Come down like this. Or like that. Like this? Yep. Okay. This part is hard. Even now, though. This is still hard. See, that's got that little circle there. Oh, yeah. See that? That's me cool. I know, I picked it that way on purpose. Mm. See? Yeah, it's like, eat cool. that. You eat right that's there. where you put your mouth. That's the mouth hole? Yeah, that's the mouth hole. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jared's silver spoon. Maybe a heck of a spoon, huh? Why? Is it, is it too deep? I think it's good. That seems like a good, like, ladle. Good. 
It's like an angle to it, you know? Get the soup going. Not soup for you. That's the soup. I made that. go well don't be jealous so I made this and it's crazy to think that just a couple days ago it was just a big block of wood and now it's a spoon that's actually it actually will hold stuff it, it'll work it's functional it's it's really exciting uh, I certainly did enjoy parts of the process making the little scoop part was really fun but then on day two, we had to flip around and start doing the back and the handle. That's um, where I certainly got very frustrated. And I started to imagine finishing this spoon and tossing it into the fire and watching it burn and just getting utter satisfaction from that. Um, but I persevered and I finished it. And I no longer want to toss it in the fire. Um, I'm going to keep it forever and um, look at it often and be happy that... Uh, I finally got out in the shop and, and made something 100% on my own. That's kind of the exciting part is that this is the first project that started to finish. I pretty much did the whole thing myself, and, and that's really exciting. Uh, as to tools that I used, I ended up just really going for the, the gouge, this thing. Um, Matt had bought me these two hook knives, and it, it turns out that I really didn't, I really didn't want to use them. I didn't find them very um, enjoyable, or they're just... They just weren't for me. So I ended up making almost the entire thing with just this and uh, this thing. So kind of crazy. Well, and this thing too. So three things. Um, but yeah, with just three tools, I was able to make this and it's, it's kind of exciting. And um, so much so that I'm actually looking forward to making another one now that I've kind of learned from my mistakes and knowing what um, the process a little bit more so that I can use that to my advantage to make uh, a spoon that's closer to, to what I'm imagining. So yeah, uh, I definitely encourage anyone to get out in the shop that's thinking about it. Uh, you may get frustrated like me, but if you push through it, you'll actually be happy with your end result. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this spoon or anything here in this shop, please leave a comment below. We're always happy to answer those. We do always appreciate them. And until next time, happy woodworking.